Don't be deceived. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, neither the effeminate, neither abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor drunkards, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. <coughs> Turn from your sin. Turn from your sin. Stop breaking God's law. Stop breaking the law of God. Stop sinning against God and obey Jesus Christ. Forsake your evil way. Forsake your wicked way and turn unto Jesus Christ. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh his sins shall have mercy. Happy is the man that feareth all way. And his heart not be hardened and falleth into mischief. You're up to mischief tonight. Up to mischief tonight. In your sin, planning to sin presumptuously to aught against God. And the scripture says, whether they be born in the land or stranger, they purpose in their heart to transgress God's law. And the Bible said that that soul shall be cut off. Cut off! Cut off! From among the people, that soul will be cut off from among the people because they have despised the word of the Lord and broken his commandments. That soul shall be utterly cut off and his iniquity shall be upon him. You die in your sin, you perish in your sin, your iniquity, your sin will be upon you, will rest upon you, which means hell fire, hell fire for you drunkards, hell fire for the wicked who refuse to repent who refused to turn to Jesus Christ, who refused to humble themselves, who refused to turn away from their wicked ways and turn unto the Lord. The Bible said, submit, submit yourself unto God. Resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh unto you. Clean. Be afflicted and bored, and weep, but your laughter turn to mourning and your joy unto heaviness. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. He shall lift you up. But you're not humble. You're full of pride in your sin. You're full of pride as you rebel against God, as you transgress God's laws. And the Bible said, the way of the transgressor is hard. The way of the transgressor is hard. 
It's a hard road. It's a hard road. It's a heavy laden road in your sins, in your iniquities. So we call you to repent. We call you to turn from your sin tonight. We call you to turn away from being drunk. As the Bible says you ought to be sober. The Bible says you must be sober. Yes, that we ought to live soberly, righteously and godly in this present world. The Bible says for the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly. And that's one thing you ought you error. You error because you don't live soberly if you're a drunkard. You error if you don't live soberly, drinking on your booze and getting drunk. The Bible says that drunkards will be in hell fire for eternity in their sin. Don't die in your sin. Don't continue in your sin. Come out from your sin tonight and turn to Jesus Christ. The Bible said that the thief cometh not but to steal, kill, and destroy. The thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy you in your sins. He comes to take your soul. He comes to take your soul. As you sin against him, turn to Jesus Christ. No, man. No, man. Freedom of speech, as, as you were. God bless. Just, just know um, that we have a coordinates. I know. It's it's after 10. No, just blocking the sidewalk. Yeah, we won't do that. You're good. We'll move out of the way. That's all. Education. What was your name, man? Officer Smudio. It was a pleasure meeting you. Good to meet you, too. Thank you, sir. Have, have a nice. great night. All right, you too. God bless. Happy holidays. So we're here tonight to warn you to flee from the wrath of God. Because we don't want you to suffer the vengeance of eternal fire. No, we don't want you to suffer the vengeance of God's wrath and fiery indignation, but you will suffer it. You will suffer God's wrath if you continue to sin against him. Jesus was, Jesus was God is God and he commands holiness. Jesus commands you to be holy. Jesus commands you to obey his commandments. And you don't obey the commandments when you get drunk or when you strengthen the hands of evildoers by selling them poison. No, you're just as guilty. You're just as guilty as the one drinking that poison, getting drunk because you strengthen the hands of the wicked. You strengthen the hands of the ungodly as you sell them booze. You sell them destruction. Oh, sir, repent. Consider your ways. Consider your ways tonight. Consider your ways tonight. Consider your wicked way tonight. Turn from your sin. Turn from your ungodly deeds. You're in godly ways. We beg you. We beg you. We beseech you, it says. Be reconciled to God. Be reconciled to God. For he became sin for us. Who knew no sin. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. The Bible says little children. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. My friend and I out here are righteous. My friend and I out here are righteous because of the work that Jesus did when we humbled ourselves. My friend and I out here have been made righteous by the blood of Jesus Christ. We've forsaken our old life. 
We forsook our life, and now we live perfect in Christ Jesus by the grace of God. We don't live in sin. We don't live a life of sin. We live a life of victory. For us to come out here and preach something else is, doesn't give any victory to come to Jesus. But when you truly come to Jesus, you have victory over sin. You have victory over booze and wickedness. Oh, you got victory. That's the true gospel. It's the gospel that sets free. And whom the Son makes free is free indeed. But as long as you continue in your sin, as long as you continue in your wickedness, you're a slave to sin. You're a slave to your booze. You're a slave to your iniquity. You're a slave to the bottle. Jesus sets free. If you don't repent, if you don't forsake your food, forsake your drunkenness, you're gonna perish in hell fire. You're gonna die and go to hell. Repent, sir. Repent. Turn from your sin. Consider your ways tonight. Be warned. We beg you, be reconciled to God tonight because tomorrow's not a promise for you. As you stare at the end of your bottle tonight, remember, tomorrow's not a promise for you. You're not promised another day. You're not promised to live through your drunkenness tonight. You're not promised to live through your drunken stupor tonight. You might die. You might go to hell. You might get God's bread. You might suffer the vengeance of eternal fire. You might be devoured in his fiery indignation because you sin willfully. You transgress the law of God. You break his commandments. You break what you already know not to do. You transgress. You transgress. You commit a trespass against the Father in heaven, the one you should fear, the one you should fear, the one who you should have reverence for and godly fear, for he is a consuming fire. He is a consuming fire. Rest with us when the Lord shall be revealed with his mighty angel in flaming fire taking vengeance on them which know not God and obey not the gospel you obey not the gospel you obey not Jesus Christ you rebel against Jesus Christ you reject the Son of God God's going to put you in hell. God's going to put you in hell. You won't have any excuse for your booze drinking then, sinner. God's going to turn a lake into fire. He turned water into wine. He's going to turn a lake into fire. Repent. That's all you sinners can say. God made wine. Guess what? God's going to make the lake of fire. And for all you sinners, you drunks, you'll be in it. Except you repent. You are without excuse before a holy God. You are without excuse before a holy God, sinner. Consider your ways. Consider your ways. Fear God and sin not. That's a message that's hated today. Fear God and sin not. Stand in awe and sin not. Go and sin no more. Awake unto righteousness and sin not. Little children, I write these things unto you that you sin not. Sin no more. Jesus said, If any man come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and follow me.
Follow Jesus. Don't follow your sports idol. Don't follow your music idol. Don't follow anybody but Jesus Christ. Don't follow anybody but the Son of God, the Lamb of God, who suffered on the cross for you. Who suffered on the cross for you. Not so you could live like a wicked heathen. Not so you could wit live like a wicked child of the devil. Not so you could lust and watch porn and get drunk and high. Suck on your cigars and your cigarettes. It's sin. 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 Repent. Repent from your sin. Turn from your sin. Forsake your sin. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. Come out from among them and be separate. Be separate. Touch not the unclean thing. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Love not the world. A friend of the world is an enemy of God. To be carnally minded, to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And you see, you don't have life, and you don't have peace. You have neither. You have neither life nor peace living in your sin. Because God says there is no peace. No peace. Saith my God to the wicked. There is no peace, saith my God to the wicked. You might stumble your way right into hell. Wine is a mocker, and strong drink is raging, and whosoever is deceived thereby is not wise. The Bible says, be not drunk with wine, wear in excess, but be filled with the Spirit. You're not filled with the Spirit. Woe be unto you who are mighty to drink wine, and men of strength to mingle strong drink. You see, the Bible warns over and over and over again about your booze drinking. The Bible warns over and over and over again about playing games with God, playing games with your soul. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, Neither the Father, the iniquity of the Son, the righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. But if that wicked man, there's a condition there, if that wicked man will turn from all this sin, See, God's telling you to turn from all of your sins. And he calls you wicked in your sin. If that wicked man will turn from all this sin and keep my statutes and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live. He shall not die. His iniquities shall not be mentioned unto him. In his righteousness he hath done, he shall live. Have I any pleasure in the death of him that dieth, saith the Lord? And not that he would turn, return from his evil way and live? Therefore I will judge you, saith God, everyone according to their way. Repent. Turn from all your transgression. 
so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Repent. Turn from all your transgressions. So iniquity shall not be your ruin. Your sin's gonna ruin you. Your sin's gonna put you in hell fire. Your sin has found you out tonight. Your sin has found you out tonight, you church hypocrites. Some of you probably go to church on Sunday, call yourself a Christian. No, you're a child of the devil. Reap and They profess to know God, but in works they deny Him. A lot of people profess to know God as they go and get drunk and get high and watch porn and worship football. Yes, you football idolater. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living God. Fearful for you who sin willfully who sin willfully against God, who rebel against God, have by his great delight in burnt offerings, in sacrifices, as obeyed the voice of the Lord. For behold, for behold, to obey God is better then sacrifice rather than hearken to the fat array for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness as iniquity and idolatry because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord Thou has rejected thee, saith God, because you reject his word. You reject his word with your lifestyle of death, with your lifestyle of drunkenness. You reject God, and God rejects you. God will put you into hell fire. God will throw you into hell fire, except you fear God and depart from iniquity. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. By the fear of God, men depart from evil. And there's no fear of God before your eyes. Destruction and misery are in your way. The way of peace have ye not known. Therefore, whatsoever things the law saith, you're going to go to hell, sinner. No, you're going to hell. Repent or you die. Repent or you perish. Repent before you perish. All things whatsoever the law saith, it saith to them that are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped, and that the whole world they become guilty before God. The whole world lieth in wickedness. Wickedness. Woe. Woe unto the wicked. Woe unto the wicked. For it shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hand shall be given him. You will receive just recompense for your sin. Your sin has separated you. 
your iniquity has separated you between you and your God and because of your sin he had hid his face from you fear God Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. It doesn't say depart from one sin and go to the next. It doesn't say depart from your drunkenness and go to your weed. It says depart from evil and do good. Wash yourself. Make yourself clean. Put away the evil of your doing from before my eyes. Cease to do evil. Cease to do evil. Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. And plead for the widow. God's going to wave bye bye to you as he throws you into hell. You better repent. Time for you to get right with God. Time for you to get right with God, buddy. Time for you to depart from your wicked ways. Stop your sinning against Jesus. Stop your rebelling against God. Repent. Repent. Turn. Return, every one of you from your evil way and from the evil of your doing albeit I send unto you my servants the prophets rising them early and sending them saying oh do not this abominable thing which I hate saith the Lord do not this abominable thing this filthy disgusting thing that I hate saith God your sin is disgusting in the eyes of God, your sin is a reproach. Your sin is filthy. Your sin is vile. Detestable. And the only thing that can clean you up is the shed blood of Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. The cross at Calvary. Repentance in faith in Jesus Christ who died for you, was buried, and he rose again the third day, conquering death, conquering hell, conquering the grave for you, a sinner, a wicked, vile sinner. Christ died for the ungodly. God commended his love toward us. And while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commended his love toward us. And while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more being justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For when we were yet enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of the Son. Much more being reconciled by him, we shall be saved by his life. There's life in Christ, and death is sin. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ.